This program is dedicated to exploring the wisdom, the knowledge, the experiences, the scientific, and the spiritual understandings of those who are pushing the edge of human awareness. Shamans and elders, scientists, authors, poets, artists, those who have healed and those who are the healers, and ordinary people who have come to extraordinary awarenesses and are living those awarenesses in their lives. It wasn't very long ago when the world was convinced that this chair is solid. We now know that it is not. It is a raft of floating molecules, atomic and subatomic particles. So indeed, our reality is that it is arranged like a chair, a solid chair. The true nature of things is that it is not solid. If there was never darkness, if the sun was always shining, 24 hours, we would not know stars, and consequently there would not be stars in our reality. But that would not be the true nature of things. Albert Einstein is credited with saying, you cannot solve a problem in the same consciousness that it was created. We are here today with two people who are pushing the edge of human awareness and living those awarenesses. It may be that the time has come to puncture the reality that we live in and explore the other possibilities of being in the world. Today we have Wallace Black Elk, a Lakota elder, a spiritual interpreter, a very rare individual. He has come from the Black Hills and has come out into the world to share the Lakota way and his understandings and knowings of the universe. We also have Connie Marlowe, mother of three, founder of Friends for Earth People, and she has been living with Native Americans for a decade and is living her life very differently than most of us do because of her understandings of crucial universal knowings. Wallace, welcome again. It is good to have you with us again today. Wow. The last time that we were talking, uh, we, you had mentioned the universal mind and that we have lost the ability of truly communicating, that our communication is broken into languages and that those languages have uh, not served us well in understanding. Could you please tell us a little bit more about that? Oh, uh we were talking about the uh, how we distance ourselves for having a doubt against the Creator and the Holy Mother, and then, then the cardinal points of the universe. They are assigned and they watch this land, and above us the eagle nation. They are watching this chinampa, the living tree, and beneath the stone people uh, are with us here. Oh, so we were talking about uh, uh, the monster that this society create, and uh, and uh, the language barrier. This Long Island is divided into two languages, Spanish and English. But beneath, there are people who still speak their language, and not know how to uh, understand the the language. Uh, like a uh, like a blanket on top of them, and some do speak, but they, it causes them to lose their language. So up north, uh, like uh, we speak English, but beneath there are some people that still speak their language, and uh, and those who uh, lost their language. They speak the English language, so we were divided. 
and uh, we never could put them back together. So now we're here to to bring the universal language back to us, and so it's not just only two languages, but four way of life, four way of life, meaning the black nation, the red nation, yellow nation, white nation. So, <coughs> so all these colors are assigned to the cardinals of the universe. So now, well, nevertheless, our life is red. Uh, so we ha we have to put our head together and speak again from the universe of mind. So the telepathic weave intelligence goes around. So these we call animals, they talk to each other by thinking and thought. When they think loud, they chirp or warble or whistle. Well, we lost ours, so we have to scream at each other. Okay. So uh, we, we have to teach our little people uh, to understand what wisdom is, what knowledge is, what power is, what is the gift. These are four. And <coughs> and so we, I think, four is like a magic number. Wisdom, knowledge, power, and gift. And <coughs> the knowledge has her own base. It's based on fire, rock, water, and green. And the source of life is based on water, corn, berries, and meat. And the way we are born, we are born with love, kindness, generosity, and giving. So we are born with love. So the love in itself is God. And love is mother. So mother is love, and God is love, and so on. So I think this is the way we should teach our children. So here we do away with the, with the state and church and separate and, and uh, allegiance to the flag and all that. But that doesn't cure nothing. So what we've been missing all this time is a spiritual language. That's what we've been missing. We go without spirit. We, we base our knowledge uh, on material, like we base our, our material uh, base on molecules or genes or organics. And look at you now. So we have to see everything under a microscope. And if we see it, it's there, then we believe it. But if, we can't, if the microscope can't see it, there's nothing there. So <laughs> that's why this uh, uh, problem we're up to now is this computer. Uh, we're going to go, all our minds will be tangled. So uh, it's like a big brainstorm we have. It's going to come up because that storm is going inside our head because we lost that communication. So we have to rely on our just naked eyes. We lost our hearing. We lost the sense of smell. And we lost the sense of taste. We lost the sense of feeling. We lost those. So now we have to rely on just naked eyes. We have to see, touch, and believe. It's called education. So we have to go uh, understand because what we've been missing or what is missing all this time because we distance ourselves from the great mystery. So uh, we're doing everything without spirit guide. So I thank you very much for allowing me be here with you. And uh, this is just the beginning. So we will uh, continue uh, to to get reorganized, reaffirm, rededicate, renew ourselves so we will think like humans, not business. Business is, is money making business. Mo business is making money. But human like is what we should do. <laughs>